So in my last few videos I've had a lot of questions about how to snag fish and in this video we're going to go over that and hopefully we're going to catch a few too. So let's get to it right now. The gear that you use to snag these big carp like these Asian carp and stuff that I've been catching it isn't it isn't light gear it's really heavy. Um, the rod that I've been using is a seven foot four heavy fast and it does its job it does what it's supposed to and while it does that it would probably be a little bit better if you use like an inshore rod or something with a lot of stiffness um, it kind of scares me to use it because I don't want to break my one of my favorite flipping sticks and I mean but it gets the job done it does what it's supposed to and it catches fish when you're thinking about setting up a snagging rod one of the first things that comes to mind or second things is a reel what kind of reel are you going to use well you need something that's fast whenever you snag a fish whenever you set the hook into it there's going to be some slack in your line and you're going to have to reel that slack up really quick so a fast gear ratio reel is really important I'm using the Cast King Speed Demon. It is the world's fastest bait caster coming in at 9.3 to 1 gear ratio. Your drag is extremely important in this because these fish have a lot of power. And if they choose to run, then they will break you off. They'll either break your rod, they could possibly break your line, but that's not likely. Or they could do worse. They could break the hook, they could bend the hook out, you could lose the fish. The possibilities are endless. So one way to get around that is set your drag. Learn how to set your drag. And that way whenever they decide to bolt off, instead of pulling you with it or um, breaking your rod or something, it's, it's stripping your line. And it's still keeping that pressure too, which you really need. I've had a lot of questions about the Speed Demon and its drag system. And here shortly we're going to answer a few questions about that in a later video. Next thing you need to consider when snagging fish is your line. You don't want really small line. You don't want this 14, 15, 20 pound fluorocarbon. You generally want straight braid. I'm using 60 pound, 65 pound braid. has no stretch which is why you have to have a good drag system and it's strong. You can get a, for the same diameter as fluorocarbon or monofilament you can get really really thick braid and it'll more than hold up to these big fish. The basic rigging for snagging is pretty easy too. You just take a treble hook like this one. I can get it on here. And usually people use big treble hooks. I'm kind of fond of small ones. It works for me and I like it. So you tie it on polymer style where you have a leader. And at the bottom of that leader you tie on like an egg sinker or some sort of sinker like this. Depending on how deep you're fishing, if you're fishing really deep, you might want a, a bigger one. I'm fishing really shallow, so I used a tiny egg sinker, and it works. So let's take a look at how you snag fish. First off, you throw your line. Just, just throw it. Chunk it. Okay? And what I like to do is let it sit there for a second. Let it sit for, you know, 20 seconds, and let fish get back over your line. Because whenever you first chunk it in, it's going to kind of scare them off. So you want to give them a minute, a minute to readjust and come back to it. Once that's happened, reel up your slack. And there's two things you can do. You can swing sideways, which I don't like to do. It makes me feel like I'm going to break my rod. Or you can lift straight up and down. And if you have a fish, you'll know it. It feels like you got snagged up on the bottom, which you could have. But generally that snag starts moving and it, get, it it's kind of a scary thing. It's pretty cool though too. If you don't have a fish, then reel up your slack and let it set a second and then rip it right back up really hard. And in theory, you'll have a fish on your line, on your hook. And it, it's, it's intense. It's really awesome and it's really fun. You can do it for hours and hours. I never get bored of it. It's also really fun to catch a big fish, and when you're snagging for carp and stuff, generally they're they're pretty big fish. Um, the way you fight them, you really have to drag it out. I mean, there was one fish I caught last week, it took me an hour to reel the dude in, but it was fun. And generally, 5-10 minutes on one fish is not is about average. That's about how long it takes for most fish. I hope you like today's video. If you did, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Go out and try it. It's really fun. It, it'll really get you going, get you pumped up. And, uh, yeah. We're going to try to go back to some bass fishing now. 
I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you right here next time on Kino Arnold Fishing.